Hello everyone, this is Dr. Dhiman and I welcome you all to this tutorial series in A085 microprocessor. So this topic I am covering in this video is the A085 interrupts and its types. So we will see what is the interrupt and what are the types. There are different types based on various factors. So first of all, what we have to learn is the interrupt. So what is the interrupt? We have to know first the definition. So these are the signals that are generated by the external devices and it is sent to the microprocessor. So suppose we have the microprocessor unit here and some interrupt signals will be there. So we'll explain or we'll see one by one. So this microprocessor will receive some interrupt signal from the external device. The external device will send the interrupt signals. These are the interrupt signals, different types of interrupt signals are there so through these interrupts an external device informs the microprocessor that it is ready to transfer data or initiate certain operation okay so these are the interrupts that are sent by the external device to the microprocessor so what are the different types of interrupts let us see now so in the case of interrupts there are four main types of interrupts so first of all let us understand one by one so first one is the suppose vector interrupt so what is the meaning of vector interrupts so in the case of vector interrupt this is the type of interrupt when the processor knows the address of the interrupt then it is called as the vector interrupt so in this type of interrupt the processor knows the address so there are various types of vector interrupts i will explain you so these are the interrupts for which the processor knows the address of the interrupt so from where this interrupt is coming the processor knows the address so there are various types of interrupts let me write down here suppose line number because in the IC pin diagram of the A085 processor we have already seen there are various input input ports and there are various output ports so line in the line we have the various interrupts one is the trap RST 7.5 RST 6.5 and RST it is 5.5 so these are the vector interrupts so why these are the vector interrupt because there are various location for this interrupt that the microprocessor already knows therefore we can write here the location from which next instruction is picked up so in the right hand side we will write out write down the interrupt addresses so for this trap interrupt we have the addresses 0 0 2 this is the address the processor already knows this address when the trap interrupt is occurring so for the RST 5.5 we have it is 002C 002C then we have RST 6.5 so for 6.5 we have 0034 this is the address and for RST 7.5 we have 003C so these are the various addresses that is known to the processor so these are the first type of interrupts that are the vector interrupts so in the case of vector interrupt the processor knows knows the address from where the interrupt is occurring or to where the interrupt is directing. The second type is the non-vector interrupt. So from the name itself you can understand that it is a non-vector interrupt that means the processor does not know the address of this type of interrupt. So what is a non-vector interrupt? This interrupt address is not known to the processor so the external devices need to send the interrupt address so in this type of interrupt the external devices need to send the interrupt address to the processor okay so what is the example example is the i n t r this is one type of non vector interrupt so what is the function of this INTR? So this INTR when it goes high, the microprocessor suspends the execution of its normal sequence of instruction. So after completing the ongoing or the current instruction, it attends the interrupting devices. Whatever be the instruction the microprocessor is executing, it will finish the instruction and what is the next instruction it is not going to execute. So it will suspend its execution and it will attend the interrupting device so whatever be the interrupting device or external device that is interrupting through this INTR pin 
that will stop the microprocessor operation and after completion of the ongoing or the current instruction the microprocessor will attend the interrupting device then the microprocessor sends the INTA signal that means what INTA signal is the output signal INTA means it is the interrupt acknowledgement signal okay so we have learned about the non-vector interrupt so the third type is the maskable interrupt okay Maskable interrupt means from the word you can say that we can disable this interrupt by writing some instruction into the program. So whatever be the program we are trying to execute, we can add one instruction to max or the disable the interrupt by writing this program or by modifying the program. So for example, what are the maskable interrupt? These are the RST 7.5, RST 6.5 and RST 5.5 so these are the maskable interrupt now let us understand what is the non-maskable interrupt in the case of non-maskable interrupt we cannot disable the interrupt by writing some instruction or by modifying the program we cannot max or disable this interrupt if this interrupt occurs at the spin of the microprocessor then the microprocessor will definitely stop the execution of the program the ongoing program it will finish the present instruction and then it will directly go to the interrupting address or it will attend the interrupting device so what is the example this is the trap okay so we'll understand one by one so what is the trap one trap has the highest priority so this trap instruction has the highest priority so we'll see in this video itself how the priority is changing so this trap has the highest priority and it is a non-maskable interrupt okay it is not affected by any other max or interrupt enabled okay so these are the interrupts we have already learned and we have already seen about the rst 7.5 rst 6.5 and rst 5.5 these are the restart interrupts so rst stands for restart so these are the restart interrupts each of them has a programmable max that means we can program or we can max or disable it writing some program so we have understood about this so rst or restart interrupts transfer the program control to the specific memory location so i have already shown you here so these are the specific locations this rst interrupts are indicating okay that means the processor knows which location it is directing so what about the priority so let me show you here in this table itself the priority will go in this way that means the trap has the highest priority and this rst 5.5 this has the lowest priority in the upward direction we have a higher priority so these are the priority preference that means if there are two different types of interrupts which interrupt will be executed first these are the different types of interrupts and depending on various factors various other factors there can be two different types or two divisions in the azure 5 interrupt so let me write down here one is the software interrupt and another second one is the hardware interrupt so these are the two basic types of interrupts so in the case of software interrupt the programmer has defined this interrupt okay so there are eight different types of software interrupt in a085 so first one is the rst0 second one will be rst1 third one is the rst2 fourth one is the rst3 fifth one will be rst4 sixth one will be rst5 seventh one will be rst6 and eighth one the last one will be rst7 so these are the software interrupt that means the programmer will define while writing the program programmer will define these types of interrupts there are eight types we have already seen there are eight types starting from rst0 that is the restart 0 to restart 7 these are the eight different types of software interrupts in the case of 8085 processor so what about the hardware interrupts so in the case of 8085 we have five different types of hardware interrupts so first one is the suppose trap second one will be the rst 7.5 rst 
7.5 here you can see we had the 7 so here we have 7.5 okay so whenever we have the 7.5 this is the hardware interrupt third interrupt type is the rst 6.5 fourth one is the rst 5.5 and fifth one is the i n TR. so i have already explained about this interrupt so what about the priority of this interrupt so priority will go in the upward direction that means this trap interrupt has the highest priority and this iron tear interrupt has the lowest priority so in this video we have learned about various types of interrupt in the case of 8085 processor i hope you have understood it properly if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you